Oh, yeah, that's good. Thank you, Trader Joe's recipe. Thank you, Trader Joe's Keeper and Mesquite Honey for making this smoothie absolutely divine. And thank you, pink, pinky, purpley, fuchsia colored hair that is out of this world for making these videos even more 100% awesome. Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media and a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. that I'd like to really, really put emphasis on in this vlog is about uh, <laughs> a topic related to autism. And I just wanted to remind you about why uh, I'm creating this vlog. So yes, they're day in the life, you're seeing my life, but I'm providing tips and advice. Basically, I'm noticing that there are people who are up outside of the spectrum, or rather they're quote off the spectrum. These are what you call quote neurotypicals. And I've just basically noticed that they tend to weed the mildly autistics or what they call the high functioning autistics, like where a garden, every time you turn around or we turn around, I've noticed that uh, other people tend to uh, pick us apart and other people tend to weed us like we're doing something wrong or like we're producing some sort of a bad fruit and it's just leave us alone let us live our own lives and it goes like this so we'll be walking along minding our own business and it's uh, la di da di da di da di da we're just trying to be ourselves and then the next thing you know uh, you turn around or we turn around and somebody is mad at us or somebody was bothered by something that we did and these can be minor things such as accidentally sitting in the seat of somebody else who uh, sat there first because they went to get up and get something to drink and yet they don't tell you they just politely mention hey I was sitting there and then you turn around later on and they're mad about that and they go to your friends or they go to your mentors or they go to somebody else and they're passive aggressive and they tell people, well, you won't believe what she did. She took that spot. Or they get mad if you walk ahead of uh, them when you're together with the group and they find whatever they can to get mad. And then the other person who's the mentor comes to you and tells you that they're bothered by that. And then other people think, that we're a threat or that we're dangerous it's just if you it's just I've noticed that if you're not on the spectrum and you accidentally take somebody's chair you uh, I mean you might be told once hey please get up but they don't uh, go behind your back and complain about it like you're some monster like or evil dictator trying to steal the chair or you're trying to hurt the other person on purpose uh, it's just it's constant nagging and then if you try to speak your mind or you try to set boundaries with other people uh, or whatever it is they think that you're being disrespectful uh, 
some of the other things that I've noticed with uh, the autistic communities are people get mad at you every time you turn around it's because you appear you appear to be so quote normal and they get they get ticked off at you for just about everything and it's absolutely frustrating and again as I said just leave us alone um, now uh, and I know that violence and anger is not an excuse but there are a gob of people on the spectrum that I've met that still live with their parents and they're young adults and they're adults because uh, they can't really afford to live on their own and then their parents coddle them whatever and then there are other situations where uh, they feel like their buttons are pushed because people are uh, nagging at them all the time and I'm sorry if this sounds like a rant but it's true that's the way uh, people with autism are treated these days and uh, you get uh, you get criticized for rocking or you get criticized for flapping your hands or you just you get criticized for pacing back and forth or you get criticized for humming and trying to block out the noise because everything is just too noisy and then you're told that's not an excuse uh, you get criticized for trying to be honest with these people that pick on you and it's just it's just the people tell us all the time you need to speak up you need to speak up and then when you do speak up the other person gets mad it's, and accuses us of being disrespectful and using our autism as an excuse so, so last night I went shopping at my favorite store obviously Trader Joe's and I bought myself a can of chicken chili and I also bought some cornbread because uh, was it last month I believe they had samples of their canned turkey chili with the cornbread, and I decided to do uh, to do chili and cornbread today for lunch slash supper at uh, the library when I head back to study. And I noticed something really interesting when I bought the chili. I noticed that. Uh, the canned turkey chili was more than the canned chicken chili, which is unusual because if you go to the supermarket, any ground turkey products are cheaper than any ground chicken products or any ground beef products. So I was very, very surprised. Um, of course, I bought me a, uh, a kombushi last night. They bought me uh, a little tofu spring roll type of a thing or a tofu. Yeah, it was a tofu spring roll. It was so good. Um, and then I went home and I made the chili and edited my vlogs. Going up. The schedule says the train is leaving in 10 minutes, but now I'm sure it's about 9 minutes until the parts you're out of Doraville. Okay, so I think the noise in this train and everything on the bus is bothering me today. Sometimes when I'm on a bus and a train, Everything around me is incredibly overwhelming and sometimes it just kind of pushes my buttons. So I was trying to find a quiet spot and everywhere I go there's just there are people talking on their phones, people counting change, people talking. Uh, I'm going crazy here. I'm going nuts. But not over that. My hair matches this red bud. After the train got moving, things quieted down a bit and I was able to look out the window on the way here and it was great. And then by the time I was able to walk outside, the weather was nice and soothing, it was nice and peaceful. Uh, 
downtown over by Woodruff Park. Yeah! 